summer is on its way. In this episode, we're going to be fitting the new rear tyres on the Fergie. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's not the professional way, but it's the way I've done it for years and it ends up with the new tyres being fitted at zero cost. We're going to change the tyres from this to this. Over to the workshop with Harry Trev. We've got some new tyres and I've got some rims which have been shot blasted and repainted. I'm going to use the centres off the old ones. That's the wheel now off the Fergie. I'm going to show you how I do tractor tyres. So we've got the tyre laid down flat and what I have is some angle iron where I've curved around the corners, sit it in the bead there, sledgehammer, tap it all the way around to break the bead, then we'll use tyre levers to take the tyre off and obviously we'll break the bead on the back side as well. Let's set it up and watch how it's done. I'm just going to take the inner core of the valve out to let all the air out of the tyre. There we go, some vintage air. Put it valve side up if you want, we'll start there. You can see with this one it's never been sat on the bead for a long time, so it should make it a little bit easier for getting off. One thing I always use is a little bit of washing up liquid and water, just to go right round the rim to make things a little bit easier. <laughs> and that's why we've got some replacement rims. So what we're going to have to do is try and clean in here. We might have to use a chisel just to get into there. So what we've got is another piece of angle iron as a sort of rescue piece but because that one's bedded in nice it'll actually work to our advantage to go in with another one.
Now it might look like I haven't really been doing these tyres and Hads has been doing it all, but there's a reason for that. When we did his Fortin Major, his rims were a nightmare and I did them and showed him how to do it. So now he's returning the favour and he's getting to have a go at doing it himself. You just stand down there. So we've got the pry bar in. What I'm going to do is slide the tie lever down the side so it releases that one. Put that one for us. Now, little and often is your best friend with this one. You try not to take too big of a bite. You can see how rotten the tyre is there. What we're going to do now is lift the tyre up, turn the pieces of wood on its side, so that should allow us to get the inner tube out. Just need to push the air out the inner tube. I'm just working around pushing the tube up from underneath because there's that much rust in here. The tube's sort of stuck to the rust a little bit, so it just needs pushing off a tiny bit. See the issue there with the rust. Now what we need to do is get the tyre off this bit of the bead and that can go as waste, this can go as scrap metal.
I've got a brass drift and a lump hammer. I'm just going to use that to knock the bolts out so we're not actually damaging the bolts themselves, the threads. Why I've got the wheel centre disconnected from the rim, I'm going to take the time now, clean it up and put it in some red oxide primer. We now have the new centre in the rim, I'm going to put the tyre on there, then add the tube, put the tyre on the next bit of the bead, then inflate it. We've got the tyre there, I've just given it a good clean out inside just to make sure there's no bits. And same again, I'm just going to put a bit of saw all around the outside just to help it go over that bead. Pop your back in the stand and we'll get the tyre on. We're just going to flip the wheel over so we've got the valve to the top. We've got the valve there now and we'll drop the tyre on to suit. I'm going to sit it up on the wood now so we can get the inner tube in. That's the tyre up on the wood and you can see now how we've got the space to get the tube in and that's what we're going to do next. Right we've got the tube in, it was uh, not a very nice video, all you could see was backside sticking out so we've picked up from here, we've got the tube in, we've got a set of mole grips just holding the valve there, I do have a proper tool for holding it but it's disappeared. So we'll get this tyre on, then we'll get it inflated. What I'm doing is a walk around, I'm getting the tyre right under so it's in the centre of the wheel in the trough and that allows you to get it on. Just 
Just on my mattress. There we go, we'll lift it up, make sure the tube's not trapped anywhere before we inflate it. So we're checking right round, checking the tube's not nipped in here. So what I'm doing, I'm stopping and checking and not going over 15 PSI. What I want to do is make sure it's fully seated before we get beyond 15 PSI. So we're just stopping, we've re reached 15 psi, but it's still drawing out under that pressure what's there. So we're just holding off for a second, we're fully disconnected. You can see it's still uh, coming out to the bead. There it goes. It's just a bit on the back side. We've just got this section here now to pop out. We're just going to put the valve in. That'll hold its pressure now. And we've still got this bit. It's slowly going on its own, so I don't think we need to do anything. But the rest of the rim is all seated. She's now popped on. I had to put a little bit more wind in it. I, uh, I took it up to 30 psi, but I've now got it all seated and dropped it back down to 20. And that's what we'll run at. I'm also going to show you a little bit of fun you can have with your old tires. You may have seen it as the opening clip for the video, but after we'd finished playing with the tyres, they were donated to a local school who were going to use them for planters. Oh, Dad! Hey, you better be ready for this. You've got to be this old woman. Shame on you. Oh, Dad! Tuck and roll! Tuck and roll! Keep your arms in. Are you in? I'm in! She's ready. Oh, come on, lads! <laughs> How's it feel, Faye? Yeah. How's it feel? <laughs> yes! Let's roll again! Keep your arm, are you in? Yes, I'm in! Ha, ha, ha.